Hey there, uh, today uh, it's SBRE Brown uh, with uh, the Dutch pen show. Yeah, so this is the, this is the, the pen. It's uh, from the Dutch pen show. Yeah, if you've ever uh, spoken uh, to a Dutch person in English, then you know this is what it sounds like. Okay, just saying. Now, let's continue in my normal and obnoxious fashion. Uh, this pen was lent to me by Applebaum. Um, it's a special pen. This is a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande. And this is exclusive to the Dutch pen show. Now this is the third year in a row we've had the, the Dutch pen show, the DPS, um, and I wasn't there. Um, it's a miracle it even ran without me there. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. No, I was, obviously. Um, and every year they've released a Momento Zero Grande. And this year they had this beautiful one, um, a material by Jonathan Brooks. Uh, and it's, um, they had the um, attendance of last year's show, so this is 2022, the 2021 show, kind of vote on a color theme and they chose sort of blue and therefore this is called the summer sky. And I will say this is a Dutch summer sky. Blue, but there's always some clouds. It's very rare in the Netherlands to have a, an entirely blue sky without a single cloud. Um, very nice, I think. Nice pen. I'm going to cover the parts. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. It, it certainly is very pretty. I, I will absolutely say that about it. So, let's get started. Okay, special limited edition. Uh, the Dutch Pen Show 2022 Leonardo Momento Zero Grande. Pistone holds one and a half milliliters of ink which is quite impressive. Uh, nice big box, a bit squarish. I know you can't see a whole lot of it, but it's fairly squarish. I know it's a rectangle, but I mean, it's, it's fairly cubic, um, which is odd when you're talking about a rectangle. Okay, moving on. We have this outer sleeve. Uh, then we have the actual box. The box pops open. Uh, Looks like that. It has the Dutch pen show logo in the cap, in the, sorry, in the cap, in the, in the, in the lid, in the, in the cover, which I think is very nice. It has the little medallion, which comes on the, oh, sorry, the medallion, which comes on the, on the clip. And it comes with a bottle of ink. This is a black ink. I chose not to put this in because this pen will go on sale on my website. It's what Applebaum requested. So I have not touched the ink, uh, but I put in a Robert Oster ink that was a Dutch pen show exclusive and a nice blue uh, that I thought would match the pen well. Talking about that, let's have a look at the pen. So here we have the pen. It's a wonderful material made by Jonathan Brooks and I'll show you this pen next to a Pilot Metropolitan before we continue. So it's a large pen but it's a Momento Zero Grande so it should be. Uh, I'm just going to swirl this around a bit. So here we have a pen that is 491 euros and 74 cents. That is excluding European VAT. Um, the color, as I said, kind of determined by uh, attendees from previous year's show, Summer Sky. This is a nice Dutch Summer Sky. I have to give them that. And uh, Jonathan Brooks made that material. There's a hundred of these, I think, in gold and silver trim because this is the gold trim and it does say uh, out of a hundred number 20 out of a hundred so i'm assuming and there are a hundred of each finish uh, it does come with that bottle of ink black which i think is cool uh, 14 karat nib there is a flex option available this nib is special so if you want to own a truly special pen as i understand it uh, the nibs are 14k but this one is 18k because it had to be made and sent to me uh, to, to review uh, a certain timeline and and uh, I, I have an 18k nib so if you want something special again it'll be on the website at some point um that's pretty much all let's cover the past the pen I've, I've covered momento zero grandes uh, a couple of times so I, i'll try to be brief and not waste your time we have this nice finial again this one has a really nice bit of dark blue on there which i really like we have the standard Leonardo clip with the little wheel, which works well. This beautiful new center band, which I think is very attractive. I like that pattern a lot. Gold, 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 done. Barrel tapers down. Again, I'll try to get a little closer. Very nice swirls in that material. And this says an engraving, Leonardo Officina Italiana, 
Uh, it says Dutch Pen Show 2022 exclusive, limited edition, number 20 out of 100. Uh, piston turning knob because it's a piston filled pen, as I said before, one and a half milliliters of ink, very uh, comfortable piston to use. Pen uncaps, and here we have the 18K 750 fine nib, very nice, clean look. It does have the Dutch Pen Show logo on it again, and of course an ebonite feed. Particularly nice detail is that the ebonite feed, I'm trying to show this off against my pale skin, um, is blue. So it matches the trims of the pen fairly well. It's a little bit darker, but hey, it's blue. They made effort to make that uh, match. We have a section that tapers down, flares out a little bit. We have the threads there. This is no longer that traditional section that you may have seen on earlier uh, Memento Zero Grandes. I find this quite comfortable, although it is big and a little girthy. So check out my likes and dislikes. Having said that, let's look at how the pen writes. Um, so what do we have? We have a Dutch pen show Leonardo Momento Zero Grande with an 18K. Uh, this is a fine nib and the ink is a Robert Oster uh, Dutch Pen Show exclusive, and I'm sorry I wanted to write down which one, but there are only three, and this is the blue one, so you'll, you'll be able to find it. It's a nice, uh, almost turquoise ink. Uh, I think it's just dark enough for you to see, but it is somewhat on the light side, so maybe not an ultimate choice for which I apologize. Um, pen writes well. Has a bit of feedback, but I think that's kind of pleasant feedback. It is a fine nib, uh, and it's by no means scratchy. I think it's just feedback, the type of feedback I like that, that, that you, you know, you're writing with a fountain pen, not, not with a, a, a ballpoint or something. It's a specific type of feedback. As you can see, this is a nicely tuned nib. It is by no means a gusher. It is not super dry. It's just nicely tuned. Uh, it's not a flex nib. You can get it with a flex nib upgrade. Uh, I happen to have one for Leonardo here, uh, in which case you'd be able to do this. But you can't do that with this pen because this is not that flex nib. Okay, um, what else do we have? Reverse writing for people who like such a thing, uh, it's not really possible. This is not, I think I've now, I wrote down reservise. Reservese. It's Italian, but not really. Uh, it's not really possible. As you can see, this does not work. Um, doesn't, doesn't really do it upside down. Doesn't work. Nice ebonite feed, though. Keeps up well with the ink flow. Again, not a gusher, just a nicely tuned nib. And the section, if you're wondering, I find it very comfortable. Uh, posting, by the way, very comfortable, too. I may prefer this to the old sections, but that's just me. Having said that, that might be a beautiful segue into likes and dislikes. Things I like, things I don't like about the pen. Uh, there are a hundred made and I think that is a hundred with the gold trim and a hundred with the silver trim. Uh, 491 euro 74 cents, that is by no means cheap. It is a limited edition. Uh, but it's it's by no means cheap, but I mean this is how these things work, right? Like it's, it's it becomes more limited smaller batches You have to have the material made. This is not a, a, a Standard stock of rods, so it adds to the price. I get that. I Will say it is beautiful Jonathan Brooks does really cool stuff with his materials and it's it's it is a wonderful material It has a very nice chatoyance to it and it, it even has some very light purple in it, which is hard to pick up with the camera, but you see a little bit there, I think. That's not a reflection of something, that really is purple. Summer sky is awfully well chosen. These are the summer skies I remember growing up in the Netherlands, blue with the little dotted white clouds. Uh, so, appropriate name and a wonderful pen. One thing I noticed is that this tends sense this pen seems to have the new section, what I think is the new section for Memento Zero Grandes. I don't know, do not quote me on that. I don't know if that is the case, but I recently got another exclusive Memento Zero Grande in from another company. It had the same section, no longer the 
section that looked kind of like this, which is what they originally had. It now has a more traditional section that uh, tapers down, flares out a little bit. And I find that section quite comfortable and I really like it. That was always a thing. Some people didn't like the Leonardo sections. Um, I thought they were originally designed. I never really had issues with them, but some people did. <clears throat> so it's nice that we now have this. I don't know if they're all going to have that. Please don't ask me because I simply don't know. We have to ask Salvatore. Having said that, I think it's quite comfortable. It's also quite big. So if you have smaller hands, my fingers don't touch. I don't know if yours would either. So for longer writing sessions, that could become a little bit cumbersome. I'm just saying, this might be something you would like to try out before you buy it. Overall, I think the pen is very pretty. The blue ebonite feed, that's a nice touch. Uh, it, it, it certainly matches the overall theme of the pen, and I think that's a very nice eye for detail. I, I think it's a very pleasant pen, but I mean, I like the, the Momento Zero Grandes. I think it's a nice size for me. The material is beautiful, so at least to me, so I, I, I really like that. Um, what I will say, I've said that a couple times, is there is no ink window. I mean, I've said that a couple times for this model of pen. No ink window, so you really have no idea how much ink you have left, which could be a bit of an issue if you are on the road, for example. Okay, there we have it. Uh, I hope that was useful. Kind thank you to Yoast for lending me the pen. Uh, this pen will be on my website in the for sale section um, because I, that's what we do. That's the, the arrangement Yoast and I have. So if you really want one and you are overseas um, from Europe, I'm overseas from Europe too. So that might be a good way to get it. That's it. I hope this was useful. I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye.